thanks for clicking on this video. You're about to watch a time lapse of me painting this sculpture with acrylic paints. If you're not already subscribed, consider checking out my other videos and subscribing if you like my content. If you want to check out other artworks of mine, I'll leave links to my socials in the description below. And without further ado, we'll start off with a before close up of this sculpture and the rest of the video. Thanks again. So here's a closer up look at this little statue. The client asked me to paint it in a Renaissance palette uh, color scheme type of thing. The material is plastic. So my plan is to first spray the entire piece with this primer and then go on top of it with acrylic paints. So at this point, after the primer, I followed it up with the black spray paint just to establish all the darks and all the shadows so I didn't have to go in there and all the crevices of the white piece and paint those in. They're kind of already there. Um, so now, from from now on, the mid-tone's established. Now I'm really basically working in the shadows and pulling out the highlights, um, all while keeping in mind the Renaissance color palette, trying to use a lot of that burnt umber, yellow ochre, cadmium red. So beforehand on my iPad in Procreate, I digitally um, colored over a photo of the statue beforehand and I'm basically following along with that kind of rough idea of what colors I'm going to be using. So as you saw before I painted in the cherubs, I wanted to establish that dark umber um, background of that circular metal piece. So as you can see at this point, I'm really not trying to render anything. Um, just kind of putting the color down and then later going back and kind of darkening some areas or lightening some areas. So as you can see with the with the flesh and with the hair, I'm just getting some color down on the, the piece itself um, to then work on afterwards once it's dry. So I definitely have never painted much on a three-dimensional object like this, so it was kind of a learning experience as I'm going. Uh, at this point, I'm uh, establishing some shadow on the wings and, and trying out some like staining techniques. I would put down some darker colors and then wipe it off in hopes that some darker colors would stay in those crevices. So you can see me trying that, adding color, wiping it off, doing that technique, trying to figure it out as I go along. So as you see here, I had to add those pupils in there because I just didn't like how it was looking at me. <laughs> um, and after this, I'm um, just doing some more details on the face and continuing that technique of kind of adding paint and washing it off or wiping it off. Um, I do that in the hair first and kind of establish those darks and try to do it and kind of kind of render the, the form of the baby around the edges where there's crevices and just using that technique is actually working well. Um, kind of watering down the acrylics and making a wash of color and then wiping it off with paper towel right after. It did work pretty good. So after working a bit on the cherubs, I had to just stop for a moment and move on to a different part of the piece. It's always a good idea if you are working on something and there's a lot of elements and you're deep in on one element, um, it might be a good idea to jump to a different part so you don't get all burnt out on one part of the, the piece you're doing. So here I'm just adding green on all the leaves, trying to avoid those berries. So after establishing the leaves, I jump back to the cherubs for a moment before I add in the berries. Um, and definitely when I add in the berries, I am very grateful that I sprayed this piece dark um, beforehand. It really helped out with establishing those shadows in between all those little crevices. Now I basically mix a color, uh, mostly yellow ochre for the trumpets of the cherubs. And definitely uh, interesting to paint, to say the least. Uh, kind of getting 
twisting my head around left and right up and down getting in those little crevices of the trumpets and all those little nooks and crannies definitely a pain so eventually I get all the trumpet covered and with the same technique of using a watered down acrylic and wiping it off I established the dark edges around the trumpets and on the opening of the trumpets themselves um, then I go back I wasn't satisfied with the skin tones of the baby so I um, went back kept adjusting them uh, around the edges just basically cleaning up everything so at this point I did a lot of touching up uh, little things kind of mostly the edges of the crevices and just trying to cover um, pretty much every piece of the, the sculpture itself and then I mixed dark color and I was going around the edges of that center part and in the leaves as well and kind of putting that darker color inside the crevices to just further push those uh, those shadows and I really liked how it, how it was coming out um, it was really working out the applying watered down acrylic and wiping technique was really working and it's coming together so at this point I'm really just cleaning up the edges right along the feet of the cherubs and then hit that bottom ribbon part um, with a mostly yellow ochre uh, color like I did previous I'm just kind of putting that color down knowing that I'm going to be darkening areas of it later on so I wanted that bottom ribbon to be kind of a warmer uh, darker brown um, so after the yellow ochre wash I followed that up with some light cadmium red and then uh, more of a burnt sienna after that I mixed a darker color and went basically throughout the piece in the crevices of the baby and just different parts around the piece cleaning up the edges um, followed by uh, working on that bottom end of the piece and as you can see I'm getting in those crevices and I'm trying to kind of render that that 3d form that already exists basically just kind of further contouring it and adding that extra depth into it so I keep going um, with that technique of adding paint and then wiping it immediately um, to get that old uh, rustic kind of look to it on that bottom part. It almost looks wooden and I just keep working that end there. Um, after a few touch ups throughout the piece, it's pretty much done. That is the final piece there. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. This is for a Victorian home, so I was definitely thinking about it throughout the piece to match the home itself, as well as have that Renaissance style. And that's a wrap on this piece. It is all done. About eight hours in total work time. And the statue itself is uh, plastic, lightweight. I used, as you saw, a primer. Just sprayed it over the whole thing to knock down that white, and then I used acrylic paints to paint the entire thing. So it came out pretty good, I think. So that's all I got for this video. Thank you for watching me paint this. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. I'll definitely read them. Thank you for watching again. Peace out.